COVID is very opportunistic. I was very confident my test will turn out negative. I'm scared. We cried or anyone in this situation that I am in. So I'm starting to cry again. I noticed that I don't have sense of taste. Welcome to my channel. It's Rizzy. I have been here in isolation for more than two weeks already and I want to share with you my COVID journey since I tested positive for coronavirus. I wasn't able to fail from the start of my isolation. I was isolated in a different area. So I'm gonna share with you my experiences here in the isolation facility from the day that I arrived here. Let me take you to my COVID journey. Some chicken and vegetables. I have no table so I am eating here in my bed with my things on it. Hello, it's my day, second day at the hospital right now. But it's my one, two, three. It's my third day. Um, since I got the results for my swab test, I did laundry last night and I just had my lunch for the day. I sent an email of my contact tracing to the police and I also contacted some of my families and friends and workmates that have been exposed to me for the past few days and to monitor if they have signs and symptoms and if ever they have, I will be able to report it also to the surveillance team. Yeah, because that's also what I was doing in my community um, to monitor those persons under monitoring. Also, hoping to lessen the burden for those who are doing contact tracing. Yesterday, my friends also sent me some items that I could use while in quarantine, such as toiletries essentials. A friend let me borrow her heater but I don't think I'll be giving it back anymore. And she also sent me water. A friend also sent me fruits. And another friend also sent me some groceries. And thank you so much for Sending me your love, care, and support while I'm here in quarantine. Wait, I'm gonna show you something here from my friends. Along with the essentials that they they've sent me, they also written some messages or love letters, words of encouragement while I'm still here and I placed it by the window for me to remind me every day that I have their support. So I'm starting to cry again. I think it's the end for today. See you tomorrow.
raining. Hello, it's day four since my positive result of PCR. And I just got out from the shower. It's already 11 p.m. And I usually take a bath at this time. And I received some good news today. My mother, who also had symptoms, was swabbed the day after my result. And it turned out negative. So I am really, really happy. Also, some of my workmates in the hospital also who might have been exposed to me also tested negative. So that's really good news. And another good news also is although the area where I lived in was placed on lockdown, some of my neighbors attested that they haven't heard any discrimination towards my family or any health worker like me who lives in our place. That's the third good news for today. And hopefully tomorrow when the other swab test results come out, it will also be negative. So it's already 11 p.m. What I usually do before I sleep is do my skincare. We have to take care of ourselves also even we are in isolation. And while some of my friends reported discrimination towards towards me, uh. I think that it is normal for anyone who will be scared. So while we talk about discrimination, I think it all boils down um, of being scared. Someone who is discriminating somebody is just scared for themselves or scared for their families, just like I'm scared for mine. But I hope that people will not discriminate the virus since COVID is very opportunistic. But that my results will take longer since holiday and it's a long weekend so I thought my results will be on the week after I was swabbed and so I brought a lot of things to keep me busy like my laptop also brought a few sets of clothes thinking that the result will take longer but no the results came back a day after I was swabbed and the one who shared the news to me was my mother and then when she was telling me that I was positive for the test first I did not believe her because my hopes were high that my results won't be positive because I didn't have any exposure to a positive patient or to anyone who, who tested positive and, and I don't have any history of travel from a place with a positive case. So I was, I was very confident that my test will turn out negative. And then when my mom broke out the news that I was positive, I thought that she was joking. It weakened her knees when she found out about it and then we cried i told her to isolate herself also i was starting to be worried about my family since in our household there are four senior citizens and i have a daughter who's six years old and all of them are vulnerable except for me and one of my worries also is that people were exposed to me since I was working in a place where I would meet a lot of people. 
also I waited for a day. I was also in isolation while waiting for the result. And after I learned about my result, I was also transferred here in the hospital for isolation and proper monitoring. When I first arrived, I was also seen by my doctor to do an assessment with me. I was already having sore throat and I had a fever also right after I learned about the result. My doctor said that I don't have any exudate in my throat. Also, I didn't feel any pain during swallowing. My sore throat is like when you are having colds or is transitioning to become cold. That's the kind of sore throat that I'm having. And yesterday, I noticed that I don't have sense of taste and sen sense of smell. And some of my friends, my family also asks me if how am I every day. They ask me. It just keeps me happy that they are always checking on me because I know that I am loved by a lot of people and I hope that they also know I am strong and you don't have to worry we don't really have a choice or anyone in this situation that I am in that we don't really have much choice but to be strong for our family and for everyone so, so far this day has been mostly anxious and then heard a lot of good good news, good stuff. So I'll update you again later. Hi, it's day 6 of since my positive result. I have my bag here. I don't have any pillow so I use my bag as my pillow and I just took this off. My socks. And my laundry over there. It's lunch time, so we will get my lunch. I'm only allowed to go outside to get my lunch. It's outside. So I am just eating here on the bed because I don't have any table or chair. So I do everything in the bed. What's for lunch? I'm gonna show you. It's beef and fish and rice. A friend also gave me pancit. already I'm still waiting for the result the swab test of my daughter which was done yesterday they said they were having a hard time to get her tested she was crying all the time and she was asking for me and it's breaking my heart not to be with her in this situation because I needed to be isolated so I think it would be a miracle if her result will turn out negative because they said that the doctor who attended her and also the nurses who attended her were positive. I'm scared for her. One of my problems also is that her suture needs to be removed today. Today is supposed to be our follow-up after her wound suture. On the bright side, if she turns out positive, she will be with me. I will be the one to remove her sutures. Maybe I can just borrow some instruments. Anyway, I've done I've done it before a couple of times already. So that's it. We'll just wait. Which is the hardest part. Hi! 
It's day 7. Oh my gosh, halfway through the quarantine. Thank you, Lord. And I just made my coffee. I'm just going to have breakfast, take a bath, and I'll be back. I just finished my laundry and skincare. Oh my gosh, night time again. Just in. Where are you now? So I have a package today. Yay! Oh wait. Aww. Thank you so much. Hi, it's day eight. And, and I have some good news. And that's it for now. 